The International Center for Theoretical Sciences is a campus that is designed to facilitate collaborative scientific discussions. So one of the clearest parts of the client's brief was 2 to 20 people gathering in any given point in the campus for a scientific discussion. They always imagined a campus that was dotted with blackboards everywhere. Not whiteboards and markers, but blackboards and chalk. And every time, so you see these walls have these huge blackboards and every time you visit the campus you'll always find one additional blackboard that has been appropriated in a corridor space or in a little niche that is available. Traditionally, a library is always the nerve centre of an institute, of a campus. You know, your entry to the library axes and every other department being around it is how campuses are planned. With, uh, this campus was planned about 10 years ago is when we started and I think ICTS was very very clear that they did not want a library that was a space which only was dedicated to books and people coming and reading. We inverted this entire idea of what a library in this campus meant. The library here is really a place to gather. This central area here, which is like an amphitheater, is almost a small theater where, you know, a paper could be read or a book could be launched, where all the other so-called prime functions of a library are along this spiral that ascends up. It has openings at various levels to other rooms. Uh, the library still, even within this campus, it still somehow managed to become the central focus with the way it's been treated or the volume that it holds. But in terms of a function, it's completely, in, completely turned on its head. It is definitely a place where people would meet. So this here leads to the faculty lounge. So they have their own access to the library. All the bookshelves are built into the walls. So again, those definitely had to be customized for the angle. The light in the library is really nice because it's, it is at an incline and it's, it, it gets great filtered light. So there's always enough light for it to work as a reading room. And it opens out on that side into the central space. In terms of structure, it still works like a traditional library with its large clear story light. The entire space has enough diffuse light with an optimum lux level for reading. Not too much, not too little. This is the point in the academic block where the private functions of the academic block are separated from the public functions. And this naturally happens because of the lay of the land. And you enter somewhere midway between the entire volume of desk spaces. So it is not a very overwhelmingly large space that you arrive into. It's always very exciting to design a campus. It is an opportunity to design an e uh, ecosystem where there are so many various components to put together. So you're always manifesting a long cherished vision as well as designing for so many more years to come, which is great. <laughs>